React OS is an open source alternative to Windows that's rapidly becoming more stable, and it can be easily installed and tested in a virtual machine, or actual hardware if you really want. Many people who try out React OS use VirtualBox, which can be downloaded via the link in the description if you do not already have it installed. The first step to install React OS is to download the boot CD ISO from reactos.org. This can be done easily by going to the downloads page on their ReactOS website, which will also be linked in the description. Once the zip file is finished downloading, extract the ISO file to a safe place on your computer. I will be extracting it to my desktop. Once you have finished downloading the ISO file, open VirtualBox and click New to create a new virtual machine. For the name, you can put anything. The type needs to be set to Microsoft Windows and the version needs to be set to Windows XP 32-bit. ReactOS crashes when it runs out of memory, and I've never been able to recover my install when this happens. If you intend to do anything complicated like install a browser and download some applications, which I will be doing in my next video, it's a good idea to set the memory size to at least 512 megabytes. I will be using 1 gigabyte just to stay safe. For the virtual hard disk, just click Create, Next, Next again, and then Create. Now select the newly created virtual machine and click Settings. Click on Storage, and then click on the empty disk image under the Storage Devices category. Under Attributes, click on the disk icon, and then click Choose Virtual Optical Disk File to choose a disk image file. Select the ISO file you downloaded earlier, which is on the desktop in my case. To enable internet, click on Network in the left column, and then under column 1, click Advanced. For the adapter type, click PCNet Fast 3, and then click OK. Now you can start installing ReactOS by selecting the virtual machine you created and clicking Start. This will begin the ReactOS installation process. Select your language and then press Enter. Press Enter again to install ReactOS, and then press Enter again to continue the setup. Continue pressing Enter to accept device settings, install on the selected partition, quick format the partition, and to choose the ReactOS installation directory. Wait for the files to finish copying, and then press Enter again to install the bootloader onto the hard disk. You can either press Enter to restart the virtual machine, or wait for the ReactOS setup to do it automatically. When the system restarts, don't press anything. Otherwise, the ReactOS setup will restart. After a few seconds, you should be able to select ReactOS in order to start it, or you can wait a few seconds for it to start up automatically. ReactOS should start, and then it will walk you through a basic setup. You can keep clicking Next, and you can enter a name and pick a theme. I prefer the Lotus theme, but many people prefer the classic theme because it looks a lot like older versions of Windows. Once the setup is complete, ReactOS will restart. Once again, do not press anything until you are prompted to choose an operating system to boot. When ReactOS starts up again, you will likely see a pop-up asking if you'd like to install a driver. Click Cancel until all of the pop-ups go away, unless you know what you're doing. Now you have successfully installed ReactOS. If you want to download or test programs, you can open the Applications Manager shortcut on your desktop. I recommend installing Firefox 28 under the Internet and Network category. It's a stable and capable browser that's unlikely to crash on your computer. In my next video, I'll be installing a C compiler and an IDE called CodeBlocks in order to create a Hello World program. And later, I'll develop an entire game from scratch in ReactOS.